Hello everybody, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today I want to take a look at the new AI cropping that is in Capture One. So let's take a look at this. The idea is pretty simple. Just like with the reference that we've been able to do with smart adjustments, we can make a reference of a crop. So we're going to bring up the crop tool. Of course, if you do not see the crop tool or if you don't have it in one of your tool tabs, you can right click inside of a tool tab, add tool and come to the crop tool just right there. And I can bring it out here so we can take a look. And the crop tool looks pretty much the same, but there are a couple small differences that have happened. The first one before we get to the AI is this little button right here. Uh, before, if I wanted to make a vertical crop, let's say of this image, I would have had to come up to the crop tool and then I would have had to take the corners and rotate it sideways to be able to move it, which of course is not hard by any stretch of the imagination, but of course being able to make that just a little bit faster is nice. Now we can simply click on, I don't even need to be with that cursor tool. I can just click on the vertical or just the rotation crop option. It keeps the same aspect ratio and you can put it into position and that's totally fine. That all seems really good. It does move us into the crop cursor tool so that you can adjust it as you see fit naturally. But we're not here to talk about that. Let's take a look at the AI cropping. And so let's look at what the idea of this would be. So I have a sequence of images here that I shot during a Birds of Prey workshop that I taught uh, here in Denver where I live. And I want to crop this in a little bit closer so I can do this through the crop tool, of course, or just come up to the cursor. It's the same thing either way. And I can build a crop around the bird that I like. That's great. But what we really want to understand is how the AI option works. So it's very simple. It's incredibly similar to the way that we've done a reference in the past. We're just going to edit this one for the crop we want and then set as reference. And now this image is the reference that we have for cropping. And so now if I have a sequence of images of very similar subjects, I can highlight a whole bunch of them and I can apply the reference. actually did it in a pretty fast amount of time. So now what I can do is start coming through these images to see how the crop went. So if I take a look at the actual cropping mechanism, it automatically came into the bird actually really well here. Next one pretty well, next one pretty well. So a lot of these turned out just great. It could not figure out what to do if I missed the bird in the image. But fortunately, if you have the crop tool actually highlighted with your cursor, you can come in and select a grouping of these and move around individual crops as you see fit. So this one here where I just couldn't figure out anything, well, I can move it around, but I'm going to be getting rid of that image anyway. So we actually have a lot of ability, but then sometimes there is a miss. So you need to double check this. If I take a look at this image here, it didn't figure it out. So I need to actually redo that one. So that's okay. I can come through and most of the time it's going to come in pretty well. Here it didn't come in close enough. It's easy for me to solve. So I have found playing with this that about 80 some percent of the time the AI crop is incredibly good. It really does match with the subject. I have found a couple instances when it just doesn't do a very good job. So anyway, that's how the new AI crop and the new auto rotate or rotate button in the crop tool work. As always, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.